our side to bring tennis to new markets like Denver. Hey, I love them. When they're off camera, they go good. This is what we do in New Orleans. But we're here for Ronald McDonald House Series. Where did my little partner go? It was the first time playing Williams in Charlotte. We're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> I miss just the back of the stage. People were stunned. And now you can say this on TV and <laughs> The McDonald's Williams Tour is a tour that myself and Venus do. We travel each year to three different cities, and we try to pick cities that does not have a professional tennis tournament, or at least a professional women's event there. And it benefits Ronald McDonald House charities and other local charities in the cities that we go to, so it's a pretty big deal for us. arrived in Denver really late. Something went wrong with the flight and to top it off it was two degrees. Never seen so much snow in my life. Right now we're doing all the morning media. So we started with the live media and then we started the radio interviews, then the autograph signing. I'm signing about six million autographs to give away to the kids at the community event. At this point I'm definitely in the time of my career and I'll just get better and better until I can't and that's the day I'll retire. Thank goodness I have a simple name to sign. It's like the E-R-E, -E N and A really flow. That's a pretty one. I definitely see myself as being able to get better and that's that's the name of the game is you have to get better each and every year or else you fall behind. Did you tell your answer to the question? Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all... Did you see the one? <laughs> Serena and Venus Williams, of course. Now, what's going on tonight uh, at the Bloomfield Event Center? Well, tonight we have, I'm going to be playing Venus. You need to talk. She's, I love it. When they're off camera, they go good to it. Those and you guys are known for some crazy fashions on the court. You know, you have been in the past, so what can we expect for next year when you play professionally? Well, we always try to keep surprises and yeah. keep it nice and demure. We're going to have to play in mink coats. It's so cold. <laughs> It's the best day I've had in months. No! Oh, I have a question. Yeah. What's the name of the community? I think it's Emmanuel. No E. It's Emmanuel. Carlos is uh, the guy who thought of the whole William Sisters tour and puts it all together, and he's my agent also. I grew up reading about their heroic stories, so to have the opportunity to work with them on a business level and also get to know them as friends is an unbelievable experience. That's awesome. Oh, that's freaking great. Pretty awesome, right? Yes, game on again. William Sisters. They rock. Oh my god. Excuse me. It's like a half an hour drive, so we've got some time to drop off and get some food. I made some bad decisions this morning. I was a little too boisterous and wasted my energy within the first three hours, so I'm, now we're going to the Ronald McDonald House event, so I have to get my energy up between now and 10.45. So wish me luck. somewhere inside. It's too cold. Oh my goodness. Yay! Yay! Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you. Ronald McDonald House Sherry is a, a home away from a home. 
provides a home for families for kids who are sick. They can live in the house instead of having to stay in the, the hospital. We really just feel like it's a wonderful, wonderful cause, and we want people to know more about it because we don't feel like enough people know. I really enjoy playing with the Ronald McDonald kids. These kids are sometimes really sick and they're not feeling well, but yet they can make time out of their day and they can, you know, get up to meet us. And I really enjoy that part of the tour. Where did my little partner go? He's right here. Oh, man. It's a lot of fun. The best part is like a lot of times the kids are real shy, but by the time you're at the end of the play session, you're your best bud, so it's cool. <laughs> Come on, I need some more snowflakes. Give me more snowflakes. <laughs> We are excited to bring tennis to new markets like Denver. You know, we're really excited to get back out there and just play our game and do the best that we can do. But it's awesome that I always have my sister with me. My other sister is here as well. Her name is Isha. I kind of just help facilitate a bunch of different stuff on the tour. Anything that anyone else can't get done, usually I'm able to do. What would you say to kids out there who want to be professional tennis players when they grow up? I would say definitely um, pick a player you like and try to copy them and have a good coach and have fun and train hard. That's what it takes. Thank you guys for letting me interview and oh. put them there. Huh? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank good you. luck tonight to both of you. I think there's a few sets of sisters on tour, but I think that we get to travel the most. It's awesome to have a sister to play with on the tour because you get to travel with someone that you know and that you grew up with and that, you know, hopefully you can trust. <laughs> get to an interview with her. She's so professional. <laughs> This is our first community event out of the three cities. Um, typically, we'll stop off in each city and, and visit a group of kids. Here, we've got a huge group of about a thousand kids who come in from all throughout uh, Denver, Colorado, to be a part of this event. A busy morning already. We got a lot more to do today, uh, and just think, we got to play some tennis eventually tonight too. It's gonna be a great day. We really have to use the bathroom. <laughs> yes, I know I should have went sooner, but is that possible? Sorry. talk to the kids and have a little fun with them and just be ourselves. And I, underst I understand there's double dutch. I might join in for a little bit. I got the head motion already, too. <laughs> so hopefully I'll get the rest. I think I'm waking up. <laughs>